Honolulu police have just announced a new round of DUI checkpoints at unannounced times and locations, of course. Our Jolani Martinez has an even better reason not to drink or do drugs and then get behind the wheel this holiday season. Police is trying to discourage DUIs by putting offenders in jail. The family of Ronald Garcia is hoping to keep impaired drivers off the roads by sharing their pain. When I became a single mom, um, my brother took the place of my kid's father and he took care of my kids. Chrisio Garcia says she and her brother Ronald were inseparable. But in 2021, while vacationing on Oahu with the mother of his two kids, the Texas man was killed by a drunk driver. He was 37. I love you, Daddy. This is one of the last videos Garcia took with his daughter before he died. The holidays just pass and nothing is the same. Um, he left two kids behind without a dad. The driver charged with Garcia's death is actually an acquaintance, Clarissa Lopez, who joined the couple for drinks that night. Police say Lopez was driving them home on the H1 freeway when she hit a stopped HPD vehicle. The officer, who was helping a stalled motorist, was unhurt. But then Lopez crashed into the center median. Garcia's girlfriend was injured. He died at the scene. When my sister called me, um, I screamed. She said that my brother was dead. Um, I screamed and I felt like the world was just coming to an end. Lopez is out on bail and pleaded not guilty to negligent homicide while intoxicated and causing serious bodily injury while operating a motor vehicle. Her trial is set for January 9th. I just hope and pray for justice for justice to be served, for, for this to never happen again. Um, not just for my brother, for just anyone, anyone out there, just please don't drink and drive. You can kill someone. Um, you'll break an entire family and things will just never be the same. Mothers Against Drunk Driving says keeping people safe on the roadways is not just the driver's responsibility, but the whole community. Don't get in a car with somebody who's at the wheel, who's been dry, who's been drinking or using drugs. Uh, take their key away. Uh, if you run a, an establishment like a bar or a restaurant, that means that you or your staff have already been trained uh, at the requirement of the Liquor Commission how to recognize somebody who's impaired and not to serve him or her anymore. Uh, the teachers should be educating kids about impaired driving. Honolulu police plans to set up impaired driver checkpoints at unannounced times and locations from January 1st through February 29. Major Stacey Tanaka of HPD's traffic division says this year they've made over 2,220 DUI arrests. Reporting from Honolulu, Jolani Martinez, Hawaii News Now.